Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about something that uh, is the channel's favorite. It's actually what got me a bunch of subscribers back in the day. Is Displacement. Displacement is back in a good way in Unreal Engine 5.2. Now you can see here, there these are two planes. This one is completely flat. It has zero displacement. This one has a little bit more displacement than uh, I would usually add, but I just wanted it to be very apparent, so I exaggerated a little bit. So this is what we're going to do today. It's pretty easy. It's actually free. Not everything is done in a reel. Don't worry, you won't have to go to Blender. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Now, for that, you're going to need a plane. And instead of going out in Blender and getting a plane, exporting it back, we can actually use the plane that's right here in the place actors. Now, the one that you have here, it's not the one that you're going to be editing because you usually edit the one that's in the content browser. So this one is in the engine folder. The way you get to this plane is by just hitting this little uh, folder with a magnifying glass and it should take you to where this is located. However, I would recommend that you duplicate one and I'm gonna call this one template and you can always move it to wherever you want. So I'm just going to move it to the mega scans folder move here. And that way you always have one that you can use and you're not just using the one in the project, because if you modify that one, that one will stay modified. Always duplicate your stuff. Now, once we uh, have this one over here, you're going to see that it's just a world grid because we haven't assigned any type of map. What I want to show you here is the displacement part. Now you can see here that we have nanite settings as we used to, but now we have a couple of extra settings, including this one right here, just a displacement map that we're going to be using. Now, when you first load it up, it comes this way. So it says displacement map and it says zero array elements. You need to add one. Once you add one, it's going to give you this thing right here where you're supposed to add your texture map and you have the magnitude, which if you watch my really old videos about Unreal Engine 4, there was uh, an intensity value that you needed to apply to displacement in order to tell the engine how much displacement you were going to uh, want on this. So this is where you apply that. Now, the other thing that we need to change here is the trim relative error. This is what's going to give you the actual displacement and it should be less than one. Now you can see if I hover over this, it says trim all detail with less than relative error is calculated relative to the mesh size. So if you have a higher number, you're going to be get an optimized mesh, but the more optimized, the less fidelity it's going to have. So that's why I'm just going to go with the value that they had on the stream, which was 0.05. And now all we need is a mega scan. So for that, I'm going to go to Quixel Bridge. Now, one of the ways you can search things a lot faster is just by uh, typing it in. So I know that mine, it's called Brick Wall Damage Brick Wall Plaster is this one right here. And I'm going to just download. And usually the surfaces download pretty quick compared to the 3D assets. So I'm just going to wait for that to finish up. And then I'm just going to add it. All right, so if we go into our surfaces, here it is. One of the issues is that when we import mega scans and surfaces into Unreal Engine this way, you're going to get this map right here that's ORD. Now, the ORD is a compressed map that contains occlusion, roughness, and displacement. So, occlusion is in the red map, um, roughness is in the green map, and displacement is in the blue map. However, this is this being a packed map, we cannot use this. So the way to go around this, unfortunately, we're going to have to go outside of Unreal. However, this is still a free process and it's very easy to follow. All you have to do is download the bridge application. These things that we used to use in ancient times where you just load the Quixel bridge application and bring it into Unreal. We're not going to do that because it doesn't allow us to do that in Unreal Engine 5. But we are going to do this to get the actual displacement map. Now, all you have to do is download. So just click here and just get the highest quality possible and just hit download. You're not going to be exporting anything. 
we're actually going to go into the folder. So if you click the three dots, you're going to be able to go into the files. And over here, we have displacement map. However, I have it to download the EXR. You may or may not do this uh, on your application. Um, just make sure that you have the JPEG. If you don't know how to do that, let me show you real quick. You just go into these, uh, whatever these are, sliders. And you go into the download settings and you can see here what you have now mine is set up to jpeg and exr uh, to get them into unreal but you can just choose jpeg and that is totally fine now going back to our files we're going to be using the jpeg we're not going to be using the uh, exr because that has a special treatment and we're not going to deal with that right now i'm just going to get this into unreal it's going to throw it in here just like drag and drop, just like you would drag and drop anything. After that, let's just put the material on this so you can see. And um, by golly, I had this new camera. I don't know what they had to change this. This didn't need any changes, but whatever. You can see that um, this is just pure normal map. This is completely flat. It's pure normal map. There is no displacement. And if I go into wireframe, this thing only has two triangles or just one polygon. Now we're going to turn that into several triangles and we're going to get displacement. Now that we have this map here, you don't have to have the material in there. I just like to have it for visual uh, cues, but we're going to go into our displacement map and we're going to throw the displacement JPEG that we got into the engine. And it has a magnitude of five. That's too much. I'm just going to give it a magnitude of three. Uh, relative error 0 0.05. And I'm just going to use the values that they use on stream. I'm just going to bring this back to zero. OK, now once that is done, I'm just going to apply changes. This is going to take a little bit. And this one actually took a lot less than I imagined. And you can see that our mesh is displaced and if i go into wireframe you can see that we have several triangles where we didn't have any uh, let me change that to a magnitude of five so because it's a little bit too subtle apply changes it's gonna think for a minute and there it is so you can see that this is mesh that now has geometry so if we go ahead you can see that our mesh has geometry. Let me put it this way so it's better appreciated because this is supposed to be a wall. And this way. There you go. So we have a nice displaced brick wall that we can have. And that took almost no time whatsoever. All you have to do is uh, import the displacement map. Just give it the magnitude that you want. And the other good thing about this is because the textures from Megascans are usually tileable, you can actually tile this up, even though there has there are some differences here because this is no longer planar. Uh, we can actually, if you have a snap to grid, we can actually duplicate. And I'm going to move this all the way down to here. And let's select these two. Let's move it all the way up. And you can see that this is pretty seamless and you can make this however uh, big you want and you can use it for grounds. You can use it for several things and you can even make your own displacement maps if you wanted to. There are other places where you can download displacement maps from and you can displace this even more if you want to. However, you have to be careful of certain artifacts. If you displace this too much, you're pulling the geometry much more than it was meant to by the UV map. So you're going to see a little bit of distortion. So just be careful with certain details. But uh, yeah, now you can have displacement map almost the old fashioned way that we used to have it. However, we don't have to deal with the camera thing that we used to deal with. Like if you if you go far away, the camera will reduce displacement. Now displacement is there all the time and it's nanite. It performs real well. And uh, you can use it uh, however many times you want to. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, all my patrons are on the screen. Thank you so much to all my patrons. Uh, the level two patrons usually get these videos er earlier than everyone else. If you can't give to the patron, then a like and a comment downstairs really goes a long way. It helps the 
algorithm notice me. Uh, you can also sign up for our Discord. I'm usually there too. There's a Twitter if you want to follow me for uh, more updates on things that I do. There's also the Instagram. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next video.